and we back y'all today's video we're kicking it all the way back to 1992 1992 was so long ago the sir mix a lot had just dropped baby got back yeah, I, I was born in 96, I'm 24 years old, so in today's video, we're kicking it back to even out before I was born. I know a little bit about the 90s just because I was born here in Chicago, so the 90s is when the last time the Bulls were good. It's the last time the, the Bulls were a championship team. So for reference, the year that we were picking it up from, the Chicago Bulls had just won a championship. Jordan had just won MVP. They beat the Portland Trailblazers in the finals in the city of Chicago. It was booming. So my guy, Yippie Kaye, I'll put everything you need to know in the description. He made an entire video on how you can use this. Um, he's on PlayStation 5. He spent a long time creating these rosters and everything. So shout out to him, man, because I, I know how long this stuff can take. So what I'm thinking, we spend the first couple years in today's video, and if y'all really enjoy it, we continue to do a mini-series of me restarting in the league from this point the 1992-1993 season so that is my cue for you to leave a like on the video because they'll let me know that you want to see the next part and let's hop into it i didn't even remind the new guys to subscribe to the channel because how are you gonna see part two if you don't subscribe you feel me subscribe to the channel let's get into it and briefly go through these these rosters so you can see how much time and effort went into these because not only did he create the players and make sure their statistics were good he said he did a lot of tendencies he's got contracts right and of course every single team is not going to be 100 percent accurate so if you take a look at the bottom here he's got like 57 overall players and things like that but we'll we'll bypass that because I mean, it's, it took him a long time to even do what he did, so I'm not about to be over here nitpicking. So that is the 76ers. Next, we get to the Bucks, who have Alvin Robertson. Um, Moses Malone is super old in this, this world right here. Um, still about an 80 overall. Then we get to the Almighty Bulls, who have MJ, who have who have Scotty. They got Horace Grant. This is this is the first repeat. Keep that in mind. Tony Kukoc is on his way over next year, which should be fire. We have BJ Armstrong, and yeah, here, here's the Bulls. You know what they can do. The Cleveland Cavaliers have Mark Price. Uh, they got Larry Nance. They got Terrell Brandon, a good team, a team that, you know, took a to the conference finals at least once again this is before my time old heads out there don't crucify me i'm learning with it with the younger guys i know that the cavaliers were there a few times um because jordan hit a legendary shot on the boys at least i know that moment kevin McHale is in the league he's 35 robert paris is still in the league he is 40 um reggie lewis is still here rest his soul he's still there rick, uh, rick fox 24 years old the Clippers have Ron Harper back when Ron Harper was the man. See, people know Ron Harper for being a part of the, the 3 P Bulls. And he was kind of like a role player. But before that, before his, all, his, all of his injuries, Ron Harper was the man. 90 overall here. They got Danny Manning. They got Mark Jackson. Kiki Vandeweghe. That's the fire team. Um, Dominique Wilkins is here. He's 33, but still killing it. Um, Mookie Blaylock is there. Then we got to the, get to the Miami Heat, who are in the rebuilding phase you know they got some hoopers here but they they ain't the greatest the charlotte hornets will have alonzo morning they have larry johnson who if i'm not mistaken the year before this this was his rookie of the year year um rookie of the year 1992 so yeah see i know i know a little bit i know a little bit they got dale curry mugsy Bowles. look how small he is even in his little bitty picture bro shit five three we have to really go back and admire Muggsy Bowles because not only did he make the league at 5'3", he had a, like a, a long NBA career for somebody that small. I'm 5'7", and I struggle with getting to the basket at the YMCA. This man was 5'3", with Giants. And the league, this, not only that, I'm sorry, I know I'm, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but we gotta show our love and respect to Muggsy. Not only is he doing that, he's doing it in the era where the center position was God. Every team had, it seemed like every team had an elite level center, is all I'm saying, or a big man. We got Carl Malone, who we don't mess with, but John Stockton, Jeff Malone is here as well, Mark Eden. Imagine Muggsy Bowes at 5'3", going against a Utah Jazz and getting to the basket to try to score on Mark Eden at 7'4". Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, the Sacramento Kings have Mitch Richmond, um, Spud Webb, another short king out there, but he is significantly taller um then then mugsy the knicks are are still decent they got patrick ewan charles oakley john starks anthony mace arrested so doc rivers and that's them the lakers still have james worry the ac green vladi divots byron scott now Shaq is still here with scott skiles dennis getting dennis guy and i'm just gonna quickly go through this now there's some things about this league or about this roster that i don't know completely or don't understand and maybe we'll learn that on the fly as i continue to go through these rosters because if you go over to all players there is larry bird larry bird is still in this um this sim but i don't know to what capacity you know what i'm saying oh they rocking them fire 
fire Denver Nuggets jerseys. I love those. I got one. I got one. Reggie Miller is finally in the game of 2K, so shout out to him. Deadlift Shrimp is here. Rick Smiths. They got Dale Davis. This is a good, solid team. Um, the Pistons still have Joe Dumar. This is before Dennis Rodman made the Chicago Bulls move. Isaiah Thomas, maybe he has a long gated career now because we live in a world of, of no injuries. So some players may have longer careers than what they did beforehand because we ain't got to worry about him hurting himself. You know what I'm saying? David Robinson is still shot. Elliot, man. See, these are names are woo, Charles Barkley in the game of 2K. Say what? We ain't never seen that before. Well, we have seen it before, um, but that was a long, long time ago. Gary Payton, Seattle still has a basketball team. And y'all let me know, once we get to that point of around the year where they have to relocate, do we actually relocate them? Or do we let Seattle ride out with an NBA team? Then we got Minnesota, who have Christian Layton, one of the ha most hated players in college basketball history. They got Thurl Bailey, a glitch in 2K. Clyde Drexler, this is a team that just came off a championship run. They got Arvidas Sabonis, but he is a three-year draft and stash player. So he'll be over there eventually, but just like in real life, he'll come over a little bit too late. We'd love to have seen him in the league before he was older. And then last, we have the Washington Bullets, and that is the league. Now, if you go over to all players, as you can see, Larry Bird is here, but he's in free agency. Magic Johnson is here, but he's in free agency. Um, and actually, a lot of really solid players are in free agency. So maybe I have to go back and, and watch the guy's video for his explanation behind these things. Because this is the year after Larry Bird retired officially. Um, and I'm looking at it here. He retired in 1992. So technically, he probably shouldn't even be in here. And this was right as Magic Johnson had to sit out because of his illness. So it makes sense for him to be here. But I think we have to... We have to do something so nobody signs Magic Johnson for the next couple years. Um, and I'll, I'll figure that out. And my guess will be the reason why these guys are still in the league is because he needed to make it um, so that there are players in free agency. You know what I'm saying? Like Adrian Dantley officially retired. Alex Inglis officially retired. Bob McAdoo's 42 years old. So I'm, I'm just assuming that Bob McAdoo retired. So we'll just make sure that nobody signs these guys in free agency and hope that they all retire. Because they're all 36 and 38, 40-ish, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we just hope that they all retire. And then, I, in my mind, in my mind, that's going to cause the game to crash. Um, once the offseason comes, because everybody in free agency will be gone. We'll, we'll cross that bridge eventually. But what I have to do is make it so Larry Bird... Well, you know what? I, who, how, how do, can I mass edit these players? I can't. Very interesting. Because I want to mass edit these players to make sure that they're like a 25 overall to just guarantee that they are retired. Um, but I guess I'll do Larry Bird because he's the one that matters the most. If Larry Bird is signing to any team right now, he's making them a contender. So give me a few minutes and I'll, I'll make sure that nobody has the ability to sign Larry Bird. You know what would be another way to make that a possibility? i also just make him make him injured. Even though we're living in a, a world with no injuries, I can, I can manually make him injured. And then I'll, I'll say he's out for... 400 days or whatever the worst is he the wind got knocked out of him he's out for 500 days almost no let's say he um tore a meniscus something more realistic for the time and just like that he won't be able to be signed I'm, i think i'm gonna do the same thing for magic johnson and do like 400 days um because again magic johnson did give it a second chance you know once once he came back he did give it a second chance so 400 days will give him out for a season and maybe a half and then we'll see um, if a team picks him up or if he retires, he's 34. And I think I could probably do that with a lot of these guys here just to guarantee that nobody gets signed. So again, I'm just taking it a step further just to, for the realism aspect of things. The win knocked out of him, 500 days. <laughs> Imagine that, bro. Win get knocked out 500 days on, on the DL, on the IR. Found out that uh, twisting your ankle is not bad enough. We need something that's going to really get him out there. So something torn. Yeah, we got to make sure everybody's torn. Um, and once I get to like 80s, I'm okay after that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do this for every single player here, but you understand. Okay. So now we got to get to simulated. Um, I don't know how we want to do this, how fast we want to make these, these seasons go. Cause I do want to enjoy myself in, in hopes that 2k doesn't crash. So let's go like a month into the season and see who the contenders are according to 2k. If we're reliving history, the bulls should still be legendary. Um, and they, they are still pretty good. They are still pretty good. The Nets, they got Drazan Petrovic, man. And this, in this simulation, Drazan's going to be able to play an entire career of basketball, which is a beautiful, something that the NBA wish we got. 
Um, and they're they're hooping, man. They got Motiks. I don't know if you can tell, but he's got some shell to Adidas on. Motiks out here. The man was a great defender, and he he passed the ball. You know what I'm saying? And their team is the best in the Eastern Conference. The Cavaliers still solid. Um, the Chicago Bulls. MJ. <laughs> Simulation MJ is going to be a different monster, bro. He's 30 years old. In this world, this man not going to play baseball, I don't think. I just feel like he's going to dominate for 10 plus years. And maybe the Bulls do something there. But wow, that's insane. Um, the Seattle Supersonics, might it might be their year, man. In real life, they did have a finals appearance. Gary Payton, Sean Kemp um, are the two guys. GP's averaging some crazy good numbers. Defensively, he's been on top of it. And then you also got Sean Kemp playing well as, on, on top of that. The worst team, oh, Dallas. Is Dallas tanking? Dallas might be tanking with Milwaukee. Now, I did load in the draft class that, that is associated with this. So, we got Chris Webber, Penny Hardaway, Jamal Mashburn, um, George Mirasan, uh, Bobby Griffith? That's, yeah, I'm like, is that a real guy? I don't recognize that name. So, no, that's not a real guy. Um, but when you think about we going all the way back here to these draft classes 2k has doesn't have the rights to a lot of the older players so that's why we get draft classes where jamal arnold is potentially getting drafted and i don't like it but it's just going to be a part of the video there's no way i need to have 60 players that are draft eligible and i don't have the time to go in and make all of the players that aren't real bad but we still got like nick van nexel byron russell and the re michael finley at a center that just threw me off but that's an idol generated guy kenny martin jr not kenyon but kenny martin jr um, Isaiah Ryder's down here. So when you add the, the, the randomly generated players, it still allows a world where we can have like players get drafted later that can blossom. You know what I'm saying? Like Byron Russell being drafted 20th overall seems like a steal. Seems like an absolute steal. Um, we still got Lindsey Hunter. We got Allen Houston, second round prospect. Yeah, I still like that. I still like this. So, uh, we can still have sleepers. Sean Bradley, second round prospect. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the, for the NBA draft. The Dallas Mavericks... And who was it? The Milwaukee Bucks are the teams that you like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all better pick it up. Or maybe not so. Maybe you want to get Penny. You want to get uh, Chris Webber. Kind of want to simulate watching the Chicago Bulls. Um, and I do want to jump into some of these games. Maybe it's the playoffs when we start jumping into it because it means more than just a regular season game. Um, but I, I do want to jump in and see the flow of the games. Because if you take a look at the scores, they're not the same as scores that we see today. How often in today's game do you see an 88-77 game? It doesn't happen in real life. But in 2K, in, in this world, it is happening. So that's a W. That's why I think that the guy that created these rosters have did a, a beautiful job um, and making things. And now I'm trying to see how. How is he getting it so these things are, are so low? Is he messing with shot tendency? Um, I don't really know. I'm very curious. I need to go back and rewatch this video. And I'll again, I'll leave that all in the description. How he's making it so that each game feels like an actual 90s game. Like, sure, a 112, a 120 game is probably an outlier in the in this era. But for the most part, we're getting the, the type of games that you want to see. Trade deadline happened. Let's see what type of trades we had. Um, transaction. We only had one trade. Um, and that was like John Sally getting traded. So that's not even that big of a deal. All-star voting. Here we go. Here are our all-stars. We have John Stockton, Clyde Drexler, Hakeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley, Karl Malone, Kevin Johnson. Okay, so the, the Phoenix Suns get two. Gary Payton, Marquise Johnson, Christian Laettner, Chuck Persons, um, uh, Otis Thorpe, and Rod Strickland. The GOAT. Isaiah Thomas, Patrick Ewan, Scotty. Uh, Dominique, Mark Price, Hershey Hawkins, Shaq is here, still in Orlando, wonder how that's going to play off, will he ever become a Laker, we'll see, Robert Parrish is still there, Moses Malone is still there and making all-star appearances, and Mookie Blaylock, those are all-stars, take a look at the war races, yo, this is insane, because if real life, if I'm not mistaken, this is the year that Charles Barkley won the MVP, 19, I gotta google it, yep, and I'm correct, this is the year that Charles Barkley won the MVP, um, so that's very, very fun. I mean, things are, are really lining up to, but to be a very sim version of the NBA. That's fire. Y'all know I'm a nerd when it comes to these type of things. So seeing something like that is great. Um, Shaq, he won rookie of the year in real life, but how, how can you have convinced me that he won't win rookie of the year when he's putting up these type of numbers? He was an all-star six man, junior Bridgman. We got Robert Pack who won it in real life and went to Cliff Robertson, a uh, Robinson at first, um, in real life. And then we got most improved nobody because there's no real last year fence player of the year jordan i think jordan's gonna win a lot of awards because they do like perimeter guys in the the 2k world 
But here we go. I think we're just going to sim to the end of the season. Jordan steals his MVP award. He steals it from Charles Barkley. I can't argue with statistics, though, because he averaged 33.8, 6 and 6, shot 50% from the field, shot 35-ish uh, percent from the three-point line, and then he was a plus 12, plus minus on the season, like, per game. That's insane. Those are MVP type numbers. So Charles Barkley, I'm sorry. Shaq averages 22 and 12. Junior Bridgman averages about 19. Michael Jordan, Defense Player of the Year. Um, Anthony Sterling, bro. I don't know why that name rung a bell. Um, is it somebody I know in real? I don't know. That name rung a bell. I was like, wait, do I know this guy? No, I don't. Um, so there are the awards. All NBA first team. MJ, Stockton, Barkley, Malone, Elijah Wan. Then we have Thomas, IT. Not, I, not, I'm, was his nickname IT back in the day? I don't, I don't want to just give him the nickname IT if that's not his nickname. Clyde the Clyde, Scotty, Sean Kemp, and then David Robinson. Third team, we have Tim Hardaway. Scott Skiles made an all-NBA team. I mean, you can't argue with the results. The man averaged 11 assists per game. Y'all know he's the all-time leader in uh, assists in one singular game, and he got 30 of them things um, in real life. Now, let's see what the season high in assists was because 11 assists per game is insane. He got 20. He got 20 in one game this season, so he's just... When you're playing with Shaq, I mean, just throw him the ball. You know what I'm saying? Just throw him the ball. Defensive team, the Bulls get two. Um, Ron Harper's up there as well. Like, Ron, again, man, Ron Harper was a stud. Sean Kemp and Gary Payton are there. And then rookie team, we got Shaq. We got Tom Gugliotta. We got uh, Lafonso Ellis. We got we got Zoe. Um, Jim Jackson. Then second team is here with Latrell Sprewell as the notable guy. And, and of course, I guess Christian Leitner. Let's see how things unfolded in the NBA as far as the, the standings go. Hey, we might get that matchup in the finals of the Suns versus the Bulls, bro. Um, but Portland won no snub. I mean, they were one game behind. It seemed like the Bulls dominate the Eastern Conference. <laughs> Typical of the Chicago Bulls during this era. This is like, this is for me to feel good about my Bulls again, by the way. This, this is why we're doing this video. It's not to see history. It's, <laughs> it's for me. Um, then we, we got the New Jersey Nets, number two. The worst team were the Bucks, 22 and 60. The highest odds, at least for the Eastern Conference team, to potentially get the first overall pick. Then we got the Western Conference, where we have, like we said, the um, we got Kevin Johnson, who's an all-star and everything. Such so, Cedric of Sabalos is there. They in the man. Okay. Um, this should be an interesting playoff race. The Lakers make the playoffs with their team being relatively old because 30. Oh, whoa. Well, I guess James Worthy is not James Worthy is not as old as I thought he was going to be. Um, a lot of teams finish with like a very um, even record. Like three P teams that made the playoffs were a 500 team, and then now East, I mean sub 500 made it. So the East, again, as always, is significantly worse than the West. But if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the errors where the Eastern Conference was better than the West. I could be wrong here. Oh heads, don't come. Ten. Oh, so y'all just didn't care. <laughs> y'all just y'all just didn't care all right i mean they gonna end up with either penny hardaway or or chris weber and if y'all don't then y'all messed up big time let's see let's see simulating i want to like like i said i want to jump into some games um hopefully oh my god we're in the 90s where the first round is a best of five i completely forget wow okay all right so best of five um we already got two teams advancing out east the number two or number three C Cleveland Cavaliers get eliminated by the Pistons. Joe Dumar and Ralph Sampson, who shouldn't even be on this team in the first place, uh, put up big time uh, minutes and big time buckets to get out of there. The Bulls sweep. Um, we got a 3-0 over here. The 4C beat the 5. I just I just want one of these games. One of these games. Okay, so we got a five-game series here between the Seattle Supersonics and the LA Lakers. Let's simcast this one because we might have a classic on our hands. Rain Man, the glove versus versus James Worthy and company. It's a closer one, but not. I don't think it's gonna be close enough for us to jump into, unless the the Lakers make a little run here. It's a seven point game. The Lakers, you need the big, you need a big time bucket, bro. Nope, that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. It's not enough for us to jump into. The Seattle SuperSonics will advance to the second round of the playoffs, and they will face the Portland Trail Blazers. And so we got a one, one, two, three, four, then a one, two, four, six. Whew. All right. Now we're back to seven game series. Game one, all of the higher seeds win. Oh, wait, the Bulls didn't play yet? Oh, the Bulls lose. Uh-oh, a little New York-Chicago action. Y'all know that's a rivalry in the 90s. 
Okay, 1-1 one, one on that side. It seems like Charles Barkley and them are an easy path to the conference finals. We're going to go Portland. Can I go? It won't let me go down. Hello? Do I have to go all, I have to go all the way around? All right. 3-2 series here. 4-2 Portland. Phoenix is the conference finals. Out East. We got two game sevens, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to... We're going to the first game seven here. Drazan Petrovic, Joe Dumars, head to head, guarding each other. Please be close. It's not really that close. We need a big time quarter. Don't look like it. Drazan and company makes it to the conference finals. Chicago versus New York in a game seven. We need to see game time Jordan. Please be close. Please be close. It is relatively close. Yes. Yes. This is what we need. This is what we need. And with two minutes to go, we're jumping in five point game. New York is up. And oh, Jordy got demon time on his face. You see that? My boy Jordan is in. Oh, it's over with. He's about to hit overdrive. All right. No, don't don't give me that camera angle. Hello. There we go. All right, we're ready. Michael Jordan free throw up and good. So now we have a two possession game here in Chicago. Look at all the fans with the red on. You love to see it all. We ain't had this type of atmosphere in Chicago in a very long time. We need some good defense though. We got two minutes of good defense that need to be played. Blackman dribbles, dribbles, dribbles. Horace, bro. You were playing great defense to the very last second. Okay. MJ coming off a MVP. Last year was an NBA champion and trying to redeem his crown. Will we get the first three-peat? Jordan don't want to pass that ball, boy. But he does. Stacey King. Stacey King now one of the best announcers in the NBA. Back then, he was a hooper getting passes from Michael Jordan. That's a W. I see Scottie Pippen on the sideline. I think I see Doc Rivers coming in for the Knicks. So, um, here's Josh Starks down to Patrick Ewan, who was probably feasting all series long. A little turnaround. Patrick Ewan, no good. Good defense from Will Purdue. Give it up to the GOAT. Michael Jordan can cut it down to a single possession game. Let's see what MJ do. John Starks guarding him. You know, John Starks not a bad defender, at least from my memory. And Jordan gets to the basket and it's a dunk. Michael Jordan contact dunks through everybody. He's got 37. He will not leave this series without winning. <laughs> without winning. John Starks, number three. Ball in the sand, single possession game. MJ coming off a defensive play to your set. Nuh-uh, none of that. Down up. Yep, this is the this is the matchup that they want to keep feeding. But Patrick Ewing continues to do these little post fades, and it ain't working out well for him. MJ for three contested? Hey, hold on, MJ. I, don't, I know you're the GOAT, and you're one of the clutches of all time. But that was, a, that was a very suspect jump shot right there, my God. Here we go. We still ain't had an opportunity to see Scotty on the floor because it has not been a dead ball. A stop right here keeps it a one possession. New York, can they score? Will Purdue with the steal. 11 seconds, down by two. Michael Jordan with the ball. Chicago, everybody on their feet. Five, four, three, two. MJ with the pull up. He missed it. New York advances to the conference finals. Wow. Wow. Hey, not a bad look from MJ, bro. I guess. I would have liked to see him get to the basket potentially. But you can't win them all. And just like that, history is broken. The Bulls do not go back to the finals. And well, MJ, I mean, his, his streak of NBA finals uh, is it, still the same as far as he ain't lost yet. But it's a year where he doesn't make it. The first repeat is dead. Um, not having Scotty in the game right there is probably pretty crucial. MJ did everything he could. He shot 12 for 27, I guess. Patrick Ewan, 7 for 22. But they had a more well-rounded game as far as everybody contributing. And for the Bulls, they only had two players in double digits. So, that's all she wrote. That was great. That was great. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for history to be different. All right. I see Conference Finals. 1-1 one, one series on both sides. 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two, two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got two banger series. And we got a game seven. The Nets. The almighty Nets. I got to see who dominated for that for them this series. Now, it's going to take a long time because, well, uh, this game sucks. And I have to wait for all of this to load. So give me a second. So conference finals, we get to the Knicks. Patrick Ewan averaged 25 and 13, but it wasn't enough. John Starks averaged 16. He shots below 40% from the field. Um, and maybe that was the determinant factor. He, he scored 16 a game, but uh, that was pretty much it. And then it was the Nets to, to advance to the finals where you got Kenny Anderson at 23 years old leading the charge as far as scoring goes. Dronzon Petrovic is, Petrovic is there. Um, Jack Sigma. 
shouldn't be here if I'm not mistaken. No, we shouldn't. Whatever. We, we, I, we can't go back now. We got a game seven between Phoenix and the Blazers. It's uh, not a very close win. Does Charles Barkley get his first championship? He's getting the chance to again. Let's see in the game seven, Charles Barkley puts up 29, 16, and four. And now we here in the finals. Game one is, is New York or New Jersey. In my head, I keep wanting to say Brooklyn. Even though growing up, it was New Jersey. But now I'm so accustomed to saying Brooklyn. 2-1 New Jersey. 3-1 New Jersey. Uh-oh, they might not need to, to get Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden to get that first championship. It might happen right here in 1993. But it ain't happening in this game. It don't look like. Could they make a big comeback? Don't. Oh, it's a two-point game. Who We jumping in. Who has ball? Phoenix has ball. Who, who really knows what's going to happen? I'm, I'm going to get out of here. It is a seven seconds, two-point game in Phoenix's favor. They get the ball in. They're going to get fouled. And if they make both of the free throws, the game is over. They give it to... Is that Michael Cooper? Oh, they had a foul to give. It was Michael Cooper. He shouldn't be here. But we got to we gotta live with it. It gets to Dan the man. Where's the foul? Like three seconds. Get off the clock right there, y'all. What's up? Bernard King gets a foul. Can Dan the man make both of these to secure this victory in this finals? He makes the first one. Charles Barkley is over there on the bench right now when it matters the most. He misses the second one. He opens the door for a game tying three right here. Here we go. Brooklyn. Not Brooklyn. New, Jer <laughs> New Jersey. God, I, I just, it's going to bother me the whole video. I already know. Just uh, Don't mind it. If I accidentally call it Brooklyn, my fault. New Jersey gets the ball in the Drazon for three. Big three from Drazon. No timeouts for Phoenix. They got to get it up and chuck it. Kevin Johnson. We got an overtime game. What a comeback, bro. What a comeback. Because if I'm not mistaken, these boys had a uh, they had a big time lead, bro. Where Can I see the largest lead? Can you not see that? They had a big time lead, bro. Um, and I'm talking about Phoenix. And they just choked it away. As you could probably guess, uh, we're not watching the entire overtime. But we will, we will on medium watch it because we may have to jump in to see a potential another game winning shot shout out to drives on patrick man big time shot from a big time player it's getting closer it's getting down to the wire it is a one possession game and it's tied and just like that we will jump in i think we're gonna stick on this side uh, for the rest of this video because we're gonna be jumping in i need i need y'all to see the scoreboard so my fault we got a minute to go kevin johnson with the ball um he rocking some jordans i messed with that rocking rocking some jays tom gets the ball give it back to kevin um, I have to look at this. I'm sorry to, to pause it. Charles Barkley has to have, he fouled out. So they're trying to keep this lead or trying to win the, a, a championship game without Charles Barkley. That's tough, man. A bucket potentially? No good. Great defense by Rick Mahorn, who gives it to Drajan Petrovic, who has hit the biggest shot of this game so far. Mo Cheeks with his Converse All-Stars on. He gives it over to Morris, who I, I I couldn't tell you what Morris's first name is. Is he going to get a bucket? He stopped. Is he going to pass it? I don't know. Three seconds. Jack Sigma, who shouldn't be here, scores a big bucket. Scores a big bucket. Can they match it? Phoenix. Kevin Johnson. Oh, we're living in a different era, bro. That's a shot that Steph Curry and Damian Lillard and some of the players today take it. But instead, he feeds his, one of his bigs and then is back to a tie game with 20 seconds to go. Here we go. Potentially the last shot of the game. Mo Cheeks looking for Drazon. I know he is. He's the clutchest player on the team right now. Let a little bit of time run out. I would love for Drazon to have this ball at the moment, but I'm not the coach here. You know what I'm saying? I would love for him to just have the ball. Seven seconds, and you got to make a move. He does. It's Morris, and it's a miss. Who is Morris? Who is Morris? <laughs> should I just not be calling him by Morris? Should I, be, should I know his name? Chris Morris. Well, Chris Morris is averaging nine in the playoffs, but today he's one of seven. And just like that, we got a double overtime game in the finals. Hey, the NBA is booming, baby. I mean, these may be two teams that people didn't expect um, to make it this far. No MJ in the finals. That probably hurts a little bit as far as the ratings go. But we get a, a double overtime game and a potential closeout game, too, for one of the teams. So this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Here we go. Back to high speed. <laughs> hey, I feel like this game is going to keep going. We're going to go to seven overtimes today. Adrazan has 36 points, 11 for 26 from the field. Big time free throw here will tie it up. 
and that you're probably gonna get a timeout for Phoenix, and I hate how long. Ooh, I thought he only had one more to shoot. He misses the first one. He hits both of these, their team has a lead, but instead, he's shooting to tie the game. Can he do it? Oh, for two. Wow, Drazan, that is huge. That's a very quick shot. <laughs> for that, that's a very quick shot. Drazan has a chance to redeem himself and potentially put his team up by one point with a basket. Great defense right here. He gives it up to Jay Williams, who gets an and one dunk and has the opportunity to put this game to a two-point lead. Jay Williams, the J stands for um jumping. Because that's what he's doing to get all these dunks. You know what I'm saying? And he misses a free throw too. Brooklyn, New Jersey is really choking at the free throw line. They should be up by three. Or they should be up by four right now if they just hit their free throws. But instead, they're only up by one with an opportunity for Phoenix to potentially to win it all without Charles Barkley, which is kind of an L. Here we go. Kevin Johnson with the ball. 12 seconds to go. What is he going to do? high pick he's got open space but he's not a shooter instead he gets into the basket he puts up a terrible looking shot but it's a bucket and just like that phoenix potentially stays alive because kevin johnson aka the mayor if i'm not he he was a politician after the nba i don't something like that he puts them up by one with two seconds to go whatever happens this is probably the last possession of the game something crazy would have to happen to get a possession after this this is probably the last one 2.5 to go. New Jersey with the ball. Morris with it. Drives on coming off the screen, but he kind of stands still. They got to get the ball in. Mo Cheeks, can he be the, the winner? No good. Kevin Johnson with the block. And just like that, they force a game six. They force a game six. That's beautiful. That's beautifully done. When it comes to final stats, Kevin Johnson, bro, team on his back. 27 or 37 to 7. Cedric Sabalos also put up uh, 23. We got Tom Chalmers with a 23-16 game, and all of that is without their MVP or, or MVP caliber player actually playing minutes in any, either of the overtimes. All right, we back to it on the simulation grind. Can we get another big-time game? It's a. Are we going to have to jump in again? It looks like Phoenix might have... It's another close one. It's another close one. Oh, my God. I can't help myself. It's a three-point game with a minute to go. What do you want me to do? I have to I have to jump in, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we can't have an NBA Finals like this and not jump into it. Jason Williams at the free throw line. He missed a big one before. This time, he makes it. Second one is up, and it is good. This time, he is clutcher than he was last night. Uh, make sure my camera's right on 2K. With a minute to go, Phoenix could potentially send this to a game seven. And Charles Barkley is not on the court again, which tells me... That he probably fouled out. Yep. We'll never, we'll never, ever, ever get to see Charles Barkley play a basketball game because he can't keep his hands to himself. Danny Ainge. Oh, boy. That, that, that man is tripping. That's a big-time shot miss, though. Draws on. What is he going to do with a minute to go? Gives it up to Kenny Anderson, who's the leader of their team when it comes to the conference finals. Bernard King, old self with the ball. What is he going to do? Get to the basket. And he misses, and we got West. Gives it up to Danny Ainge. Do we also have Kevin Johnson now? Why is Kevin Johnson not on the court right now? She's Oh, Tom, that's a bucket. That's that's about as easy as it gets when it comes to getting buckets. Three-point game. And if Brooklyn or New Jersey doesn't score right here, it is probably the end of it, and we might go to a game seven, y'all. Kenny Anderson with the ball. Left riding a little bit. Coming off the screen is Danny. Nope, nope. Give us to Bernard King. Look how, how much he's sinking off of him defensively. Mid-range jump shot is no good. A rebound for Phoenix. And just like that, this probably is the end. This probably is the end of the game. They make a free throw. That's the end of it. A game seven in the 1993 NBA Finals is here. Cedric Sabalos has been so clutch for them um, in this series, bro. He'll mess around with Finals MVP between him and Kevin Johnson, of course. Because uh, he's been so clutch for them. We get a game seven. Well, we have to jump into three games in a row. Let's find out. It's another closer one. Phoenix up by double digits in the fourth. Up by 20. Phoenix is your NBA champion. Was that a blown 3-1 lead from New Jersey? Charles Barkley does it, though. He put up 32, 19, and 6. And this is the few games that he doesn't foul out. And I didn't even get to see it. That is just the first season, y'all. All of that. We just got through one year. What a year, though.
And now we have a lot of retirements. Jack Sick was gone. James, these are the guys that were in free agency, basically, um, all retiring, which makes sense. All of them gone, and that helps or hurts, depending on who you ask. Go to league meetings. Make sure nothing is approved yet, because uh, we're still living in this world. And now we get to the draft lottery. I should have probably switched it back to the old draft lottery, and we may do that next season. It kind of slipped my mind. But we have... The Dallas Mavericks, the Bucks, and the, the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's see how this goes. The Bullets are down there as well, by the way. Um, and y'all know in real life, the Bullets were a team that ended up being top of the lottery. Here we go. Dallas. Charlotte. Wait, did the Celtics jump up? The Celtics were not on this radar. We got to go back. Where were the Celtics when it came to the standings? Because I didn't expect that they barely missed the playoffs. They were two games out of the playoffs. They jumped all the way up to a top four pick. Just like that, um, uh, Kevin McHale, the old self, getting a little bit of help. Robert Pear, super old self, getting some help. Rick Fox is super young, um, but there it is. Out of nowhere, from left field, and now we get to the NBA draft. With the first pick in the 1993 NBA draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Chris Webber. C-Web is going to be nice there. Now, he don't got a lot of help. It's going to be the C-Web show right now, unless free agency shows us otherwise. Um, but C-Web is kind of alone over there. You know, he probably going to win Rookie of the Year because he got nobody to pass the ball to. Jamal Masper. Look at Jamal Masper ending up in Charlotte, bro. Ending up in Charlotte. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Now, in real life, he spent the last portion of his career there. Uh, but it was just meant to be. This is one of the auto-generated guys. So, the Celtics don't get Penny, Hard Penny Hardaway still on the board at number four? Hey. Hey. It ain't me, y'all. It ain't me. Is Penny Hardaway going to be going to the fourth overall team? George Mirasan, 7-7 from Romania, gets drafted to the Milwaukee Bucks. I cannot believe that I'm saying that Penny Hardaway is still on the board at pick number five. I I'm going to keep going until Penny gets drafted. If he gets drafted to five, then perfect. If not, then we keep it moving. Penny. Penny. A trade has happened. Alvin Robertson gets traded. So the Bucks are like, hey... We want George Mirasan plus blank, blank, blank. Because we're trading up for it. Now, let's see what they end up getting. Are they selecting Penny? Did they trade up for Penny? They did. They trade up for Penny. They get both of their guys. They wanted George Mirasan. They wanted Penny Hardaway, and they get them both. Just like that. That is amazing. I'm going to simulate to the end of the draft, and we'll see what else happens in here. Um, let's see. Vin Baker gets drafted to the Magic. Uh, do, 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 keep it moving. Nick Van Nux, who goes to the Warriors. That's cool. Byron Russell to the Clips. Isaiah Ryder to the Rockets. Um, Allen Houston goes to the Cavs. A sleeper pick, bro. Y'all know Allen Houston got buckets in his time. Got a lot of buckets in his time. Um, and then Sean Bradley goes to the Bulls. The Bulls get a center. They get a big center. They can defend at least a little bit. Sam Cassell goes to the second round, and he gets, go gets going with the Sacramento Kings. Um, Lindsey Hunter goes to the Hornets. Not an amazing, super great draft class. I'll, I'll admit that. But they do got some heavy hitters, man. They got all NBA players and Chris Webber, Penny Hardaway up there. So, very interesting. I don't know what free agency looks like in 1994. Joe Dumars, he's a restricted free agent. He's got some offers. He's going to stay with the Pistons, looks like. Mark Price restricted. He's probably... Ooh. All right. This should be interesting. Um, we got some big hitters in free agency this year. Let's see who goes where. I'm simulating, simulating... 12 days in, free agency goes over. Joe Dumars goes to the Pistons. The Bulls get a point guard. We got Kevin Johnson, Michael Jordan, and Scottie Pippen. Kevin Johnson just had 37 points in the NBA Finals. Kevin Johnson just won a championship. He just won one. Mark Price stays with the Cavaliers. The Rockets get Drazan Petrovic. Tim Hardaway. Okay, we got to go through the league, bro. We got to go through the league. Um, Kevin McHale ends up in New York. Um... Magic gets signed by the Pacers. Now, he won't play this season, but they gave him a three-year deal. Say, hold on, bro. Come back when you're completely healthy. And, yeah, that's probably what, what they're going to do. Wow, the Bulls also get Avery Johnson. So, the Bulls setting themselves up for a potential dynasty? I, I guess so. We're going to the 1994 NBA season. The top guys here are Glenn Robinson, Jason Kidd. J a 1994 had some had some guys jason kidd eddie jones grant hill jawan howard daniel marshall jalen rose 
Yeah, this is a good draft class. That's a that's a really, really solid draft class. Okay. Part of me wants to say that's a wrap because your number one took so long. And we'll come back in a few days with your number two. Every video won't be one year, by the way. I just, want, I just want to keep that in mind. But year one was so jam-packed because I had to show you the rosters. I had to give you a feel of the time and the era. And then we had a crazy playoff. So, I had, you know, it had to be longer. Every, every video won't be one singular year. So, before we wrap up this video, what I'm thinking is we just go through the league right now to give y'all a little intel of what's going on. I want to go, isn't there power rankings? I want to go to power rankings. Utah Jazz is number one in the power rankings. Um, they pretty much have the same team. The Bulls are number three. This team looks dis disgusting. They, they draft Sean Bradley at 26. They sign Kevin Johnson. They sign Avery Bradley or Avery Johnson. Um, they got both of the Johnsons. They still got BJ. They got Bernard King, little old self there. Um, Tony Kukoc is finally here. Stacey King is still there. I don't see a world where the Bulls aren't the one seed in winning a championship. You know what I'm saying? It's no, there's no way. There's no way. I want to take a look at um, who who had a top pick. Dallas Mavericks, yeah, they gave C Webb the keys. They got Jim Johnson with Jim Jackson with him. But John Paxson's old at 34 and he's starting. Uh, they got another auto-generated guy. They got a couple auto-generated guys on their team. The Magic are a team that in real life ended up getting Penny. But without Penny there, um, what happens with Shaq? That's some that's a storyline we gotta keep keep hold of. The Charlotte Hornets should be solid this season. Um, Alonzo Mourning's better. He, he, you know, he, he's coming off basically a rookie season where he was really good. He's better. Now they got Jamal Mashburn sliding into that spot. So that's that's a W. The Clippers probably won't be terrible. Um, they probably won't be terrible. They got Byron Russell as a rookie starting, so maybe not the greatest. But they, they are building something over there. Um, this is a team that had a pick, and they used it on an auto-generated guy right here. I don't know what to expect from this guy because he doesn't exist in real life. The Bucks, the biggest player when it comes to the NBA draft, course going up to get penny hardaway um and well penny's by himself over there right now they got he got bricky um and then you also got george mirasan who you drafted but he's like the 10th player in the rotation if you enjoyed the video as always be sure to leave it a like i promise we not just getting rid of this so show enough love and we'll be back with this very very soon um thank y'all so much peace